full board depredation, we're a nuisance wildlife control company. We, we trap, our, our, our specialty is wild pigs. We also can do turkeys, we can do coyotes, we can do raccoons, we can do any, anything that a, a licensed trapper can do in the state of California. You know, there's people that love the pigs until the pigs damage their property and then they hate them and they want every last one of them removed. Yeah, so they're an invasive species here in California and they do really nothing but, but cause damage to people's property. They, they cause damage to croplands, they take away a native habitat from a native species that are already here. There's no limit and there's no season for wild pigs. The state has realized that there is a need to, to kill a lot of them, you know, especially in places like this where there's a lot of people around. It's a park. There's people everywhere, all times of day and night and um, walking their dogs. And so once they once they get comfortable somewhere, somewhere they're staying there, it becomes a, a, a danger to the public. I have a corral trap set up with a cellular controlled gate and uh, it's remotely activated. It's built pretty strong. You see some of these pigs are really big and you know you want to get the pigs comfortable uh, real comfortable coming in you want to make it their daily routine to come into the food source that you're putting out for them and uh, once once you feel that you're ready and the, all the pigs that are around the area are in your trap then it's then it's time to trap them so what you'll see in the video is uh, the pigs coming into the corral trap two weeks prior to, to, to me trapping them uh, I've been I was monitoring them nightly and I was counting how many pigs were coming in each time and by the time I trapped them I had realized there was ni 19 was as many as there were around here at this time at that time but the neat thing about the uh, remote camera setup is I'm able to watch them so I'm sitting there watching every single pig file into the corral and at the end you'll notice there's like a straggler so I can see that one off in the distance on the other side of the crown I'm waiting for it to come into the traps to make sure I have all of them because the problem is if you don't trap them all at the same time that that one that didn't get trapped that's on the outside is gonna become trap shy and it won't come back into the trap so in this case, um, every single pig that we trapped, all 19, went to somebody. Somebody took it home, they butchered it, and, and they, they, they ate it, or they're gonna eat it. They, they turn it into ribs, they turn it into pork chops, uh, pork shoulders, you name it, uh, sausage. Um, it's really great that they do that. Yeah.